Hi all, Bruce Randall here with the HP Product Marketing Team. I'm here with Venda Nayak and Michael Cooper to talk about the latest release of Quality Center 11.5. Now many of you may have heard the announcement that we made last week. We made it on, on in a Google Hangout just like this as well as a Star East directly. So if you were there, uh, you, you probably saw it. The announcement covered two particular pieces. The first is we wanted to remind people how important quality is. You know, as IT continues to move faster and faster, develop mobile applications, develop you know, new features and functionalities that their users are, are desiring and wanting, uh, sometimes quality can get left behind. And so you know, that was the first part. We want to remind you that you know, as a leader in quality testing, at HP is, we're investing heavily in this space, and uh, we, we've released some new features we want to talk to you about. So Michael Venda, do you want to take a few minutes to talk about some of these new features? Absolutely, absolutely, um, Vin, and I'll go first. Uh, my name is Michael Cooper. I'm uh, with HP Software, focused on quality center and testing centers of excellence. I've personally been in testing and quality for 15 years and been a long-time uh, user of quality center. And what I really like about this new release are several things. Uh, I'll name three of them. One is just the improved performance and stability. Uh, the improved integration with BPT and some of the other tools. In talking about integrations, um, at Star East, two of the hottest topics were Agile and, and Mobile. So in terms of Agile, HP released a SaaS-based or cloud-based um, Agile man project management software. And with Quality Center 11.5, there's a really great synchronization between uh, Agile Manager and Quality Center. It gives you everything you could imagine for managing an Agile project. And, you know, when I was uh, doing this um, at, at a large uh, wireless company, um, we had some projects that were Agile and some that were not. And it was great to, uh, and, and I would have loved to have that synchronization at the time. Um, the other thing is, mobile. So everybody's mobile these days are using, uh, you know, tablets and, and, and phones and so forth. And in this version of Quality Center, there's a synchronization with uh, HP Anywhere that allows you to report defects and to, um, to run test cases directly from your mobile device. I actually uh, saw somebody uh, doing this at at uh, Star East, and he was certainly a quality rock star, and uh, and and we gave him one of these buttons and a prize uh, for 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 showing off his his uh, implementation. Vanden, what are your favorite things? First, I, I love the button. I, I don't know <laughs> I get one of those. I'll send you one. <laughs> um, but al along with the three things that Michael just mentioned, um, I had three of my own. Um, the fact with Quality Center 11.5, we've gone ahead and changed the reporting aspect. So Quality Center, like most of you know, is the center in where we try to pull in all the data from multiple third-party integrations and be the center of reporting, or so single source of truth, as we call it, for the enterprise. Now, in there, reporting through Excel gives you that flexibility in terms of creating a customized report. Business Views is a new feature that we introduced in 11.5, to enable you to do that. So you would see a lot of value from the reporting aspect uh, in there. Also, manual testers are still a key part of the testing cycle. With Sprinter 11.5 and the tight integrations that we have with Quality Center, what we have done is we have enabled that part of the business now to be captured more effectively. So trying to make those manual testers more efficient, making them the rock stars in the testing business, we are able to get all the data that they have to a testing aspect seamlessly into the quality center platform. And last but not least is license management. Um, one of the key challenges that enterprises run into is how do you allocate licenses across projects and across domains? And with 11.5, you added a new level of flexibility where you can control that. So I'm very excited about these new things that we're going to let's launch. Super. Yeah. It's a great overview, guys. Thank you very much. And I, I'm certain that is just a few of the many features in, right. in uh, Quality Center 11.5, but, but some of your favorites. Thanks for highlighting them. For all of you there, if you're interested in learning more, we actually have a, a webinar upcoming. Uh, you can go to www.hp.com forward slash go forward slash quality webinar and learn about more. 
uh, more about Quality Center 11.5. And also, come visit us at Discover. I think Mike may even have a couple of those buttons to give away for uh, special Absolutely. visitors to come. Thanks, yeah. all.